My view of a platform in a traditional business is the following. The traditional business, the firm still exists, but you create a platform around the firm with which the firm can then interact with the ecosystem. So your suppliers, your customers are all in the ecosystem. But what we're seeing today because of connectivity, because of intelligence, and because of the democratization of production that I talked about initially, what we're seeing is that the boundary of your firm is becoming more blurred. Yesterday, you used to have people in-house. Today, they are freelancers outside. Yesterday, you would uh, need uh, entire functions to be inside the company because coordination costs were very high. Today, you can do it through suppliers around the world in a global supply chain. So we, we've seen this shift happening for some time. For the first time, we have a mechanism by which all of these ecosystem players can be orchestrated together off a central platform. And that is the view that I have for all incumbent organizations when they move from a firm-only model to a firm plus ecosystem model. When you move in this direction, the first and most important thing you need to do is that you need to integrate your enterprise so that you have one view of the ecosystem. If every business unit within your enterprise has a different data set about your suppliers, has a different identity of your customer, you cannot work with the ecosystem in a way that is efficient, in a way that leverages the scale that a platform provides. So the first step is to find the infrastructure that enables you end-to-end -end integration of your current enterprise. Getting different pieces of infrastructure, different pieces of software from different vendors, and digitizing different parts of your functions is not going to help run a platform model. You need an end-to-end -end infrastructure provider to in integrate your enterprise. But that's only the first step. Once you've integrated the enterprise, that's when the fun begins. Once you integrate the enterprise, then you need to start thinking about what should you open. Because opening everything is not good. You need to open in a, in a way that innovation increases, more innovation comes in from outside, from your suppliers, but at the same time, you close the critical points of control in your ecosystem. A, a, a great example of this is the Android platform. When Android first launched, it opened everything. It allowed everybody to use Android to launch a new phone. And so Amazon, Samsung, everybody started launching their own ecosystems, and Android realized that unless it closed the critical resources, the power would go away from Android, to the ecosystem partners. So then what Android did was it, was it uh, split Android into two parts. One was the operating system, and the other is what we now call the Google Play Store. Google Play contains critical elements like maps. Without a map, you cannot digitize location. And because you have to work through Google to get the map, now Samsung and, and Amazon cannot fork and Android into their own ecosystems. So by by splitting Android into Android and Google Play by managing the connect with the customer directly through the Play Store, Android was able to retain control of the ecosystem. So openness is a very important decision factor that you'll have to think through as you start building a platform. The second thing, and this is where it becomes more interesting, is once you start opening up, you start seeing network effects. The more people come onto your platform, the more other people benefit from all of these people in the ecosystem. The more producers come on board, the more suppliers come on board, the more consumers start benefiting. The more consumers come on board, the more suppliers will come in one direction. And because of this, in a lot of industries, what we start seeing is that the winner starts taking it all because of network effects. All, producer, all producers, all suppliers, all consumers start coalescing together on one platform and give the platform a lot of power in that particular industry. We've seen this happen in the, in the so-called tech industry so far in different ways with Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, uh, and uh, many other companies creating their own ecosystems. But I'll give you a couple of examples later on of traditional companies doing this in industries that we've not thought of as tech. Although, as I explained some time back, the moment you digitize the source of value or the consumer decision-making factor, every company, every industry is a tech industry. And so it's all about asking yourself, what is the core digital value that you can digitize for the first time? So that's the idea of network effects. Now, the thing about network effects is that when more people come in, there are more interactions. But as, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's not just about quantity of interactions. It's also about quality of interactions. And so the next thing that you need to do is you need to govern the ecosystem. Not everybody should come on board. 
Some people should not be allowed to come on board if they don't meet a minimum quality criteria. The more data you get about different suppliers, you can start weeding out the suppliers who are not performing well enough to be on your ecosystem. So governance of the ecosystem becomes really important. And because of all of these things, you start seeing feedback loops where customers encourage suppliers, suppliers encourage customers. You, need, you don't even need to be in the middle of all of this. All of them start interacting with each other and start growing your business. And all of this gets amplified even further because your platform is benefiting from machine learning. It's capturing information about how customers are, are making purchases, how suppliers are performing. It takes all of this information, and it is then able to predictively orchestrate the ecosystem even further. It is able to make new matches for the first time. And through all of this, you start getting more value because you own all of this information. So when you are building your infrastructure, you need to ensure that the core components of machine learning are in place, because that's what helps you get sustainable competitive advantage in a platform business model.